Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. Hi! I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? <laughs> These Toad Stars never disappoint, partner. You think he recognized you? He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the part and get out of here. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. That's the part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit.
Let's head for the elevator to see if the par fits. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the Queen when you're ready. journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just... admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. When the Queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason, now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. 
I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. It's you. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault, and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agreed. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is... One of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? 
as expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! 